All right, time for another Skeeter Honey video. Uh, this time, uh, much like the, like the last one, uh, I'm going to do a little check of how things are going and then uh, go ahead and probably add another brood box. This time I was uh, a little, you know, well, last time I was a little trepidation about putting a big one on so this time I'm going to go small uh, seen and read some stuff about the size of hives and and how many cells the queen actually needs and seems to me like uh, I can do more with less and uh, at the same time not uh, overstress them with how much work they got to do also today I'm going to be topping off the feeders and both of them because they do have a lot of comb they're gonna need to draw uh, draw out so Without further ado, first I'm going to just take the lid off of this. I know that it's uh, rush hour right now at uh, this hive. I'm thinking about calling this one Chancellorsville and the big one Essex because I'm a dork that way. And that's all well and good. I uh, think I got a little bit more smoker action going, but uh, we'll see. I uh, don't know. We'll find out. But... Uh, nonetheless, oh yeah, it's going much better this time. I think I've cracked the code on that. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and pull the top off of this one. Come on. Now, keep in mind, this one hasn't been open since well before the one that I did just the other day. So, it's probably going to be a bit more in the way of burr comb. Um, I didn't mention yet, but I've got cardboard under here, under these hives, in order to uh, sort of cover, oh boy, lots of burr comb, lots of burr comb, so yeah, that's definitely going to have to go. Sorry ladies, your, uh, your efforts will have been in vain on that front, but uh, it's for the greater good. Uh, but anyway, uh, the cardboard I have under there is to uh, kind of keep stuff from growing up. Uh, so parasites and whatnot can't get into the hive, uh, which is very important. And the other thing, uh, you know, I've got some salt under there so that after I take it off, uh, hopefully we won't have as much growth. So, that said, um, I have seen on that cardboard a ton, absolute ton, of hatching activity. Uh, all the caps that were from the brood that were uh, original to this uh, nuke have been, uh, let's say, uh, deposited all over there, which is a good sign. So first thing I'm going to do, let me just go ahead and put my frame holder on. This one doesn't seem too busy over here. Uh, got a lot of bees working on this burr comb over on this side. So what I'm going to do on here... So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take this far frame off. Smoker's working much better. Of course, this is also kind of rush hour, which is not necessarily the best time to be doing this, but it is what it is. We all have our uh, our schedules. I know this probably doesn't comport with theirs, but excuse me, ma'am. Pull this out a bit. Probably going a little too deep into the frame for that, but so many girls in the way here. Uh, Look, I know that you're interested. It's like when I'm uh, trying to do something around the house and the dogs just get underfoot because they're so interested in what's going on. Ma'am, really, is that helpful? All right, we're here. Shit, sorry. There we go. I'm go ahead and pull this up. Lots of propolis, bit of bit of comb between bees, but that is a product of the original, oh boy, that is very interesting how far down that goes with the stickiness, so I'm just going to have to go ahead and try to pull this out directly. All right, pardon me, ma'am. They are getting a little active, but uh, I'm not terribly concerned about this because it's that time of day, they're not being uh, difficult, if you will. Uh, definitely seeing a lot of action on here, drawing it out. If you can see. Obviously, we're not going to see the queen. They've already been... They've drawn it out enough to where they feel comfortable capping some of them. 
uh, to put nectar or maybe some of what they have drawn out of the feeder. And don't worry, ladies, we are going to be topping that feeder off so that you don't have to work too hard to keep the, uh, the hive fed. All right, so on this outer one right here that I'm looking at now, lots of capped honey cells, which, uh, again, if I recall back to when I was looking in this hive the first time, holy moly, that's propolized. Uh, that was, uh, pr that is probably the stuff that I put in the feeder for the first iteration. Just look at how sticky all that propolis is. So, there's, they've got food, which is good, and the fact that they're able to store it like that is, uh, I would think, an indication that maybe they're getting fed off the land, which is what we want. Get them out there foraging. Lots and lots of propolis over there. And that's fine. These are sticky little creatures. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, she's just looking up at me, like, not getting out of the way, but that's fine. All right, so with this one, definitely want to be careful because I think, well, I think this was one of the original, I think this was the, quote, honey frame from the original nuke. And I'm not seeing much opportunity on that one. I'll just slide this one in so I can set it down over here as well. Not seeing a lot of opportunity on that one for the queen to be using it for brood. So I feel okay pulling it out and putting it on the, uh, the holder over here. Sticky, sticky, sticky. So let me just go ahead and do that. Lots of bees busy at work and got one over here just very interested in what I'm doing. Which is fine. Pardon me now. Ooh. Heaviest frame I've picked up so far. By far, the heaviest frame I've ever picked up. So, this is definitely a food storage frame. A little bit of that chain action I was talking about before. If you take a look at what I'm talking about, you should see all the glistening in there, which is the, the honey, and of course it's got the burr comb all over it, and I'll, uh, I'll tend to that. And on this side, not seeing the queen because it is all nectar and bee feed storage so this is the pantry pardon me i know i know excuse me miss i'm not trying to man it's sticky though lots of propolis on there wow Okay, so this is, oh wow, the brood in this one is off the charts. So, and there's lots of uh, activity over here. This is on the uh, honey portion, it looks like. And of course, they're building on some of this burr comb. So I'm going to go ahead and start addressing that right now. Got my burr comb bowl, which I'll go ahead and get them off there so I can scrape some of that off. Excuse me, ladies, I really, I really need you to not be doing that. And there's some that are just not going to let go of this, so I'm just going to go ahead and scrape that off. See there? They're just, they're still at work. They'll, uh, they'll eventually get the hint, though. Alright. Uh, any more? Yeah, there's a little bit more that I want to get off before I start, uh, really exploring this frame. Trying to go a little quicker than before. Uh, I noticed just the length of the last video that I was probably a little... A little too slow on this, uh, which fortunately with these bees, they don't seem to mind so much, but the issue is uh, I need to get quicker at it so that I'm not really stressing them out uh, too much. I'm seeing a comb on, uh, on these two frames actually kind of bridging the two, which is an indicator that I probably didn't put it, I probably put too much space on there when I put them in and back together. So. I'll try to do better this go around, but this is a very well drawn out frame, and as such, I need to probably put it a little bit closer this go around. So let me scrape some of this off. Of course, they've got plenty of bees on it. As you see, they kind of go with, but they'll, uh, like I said, they'll get the hint. They'll move on. There we go. They'll be fine. And then here's another 
before I pull it out, I just want to make sure I do this since it's sitting still. There we go. Pardon me. There we go. And another. So I've been uh, saving up all this burr comb. Don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I know that honeycomb is a great thing for a lot of reasons. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, think, of, figure out what I'm going to do with it. Maybe, maybe my first um, bee product will be a a burr comb special of some sort. All right, excuse me, miss. All right, so, man, I pushed it, but it's sticky. All right, so look at all this brood, and I am, I see some bees are sticking all over the place, looking for Her Majesty. Uh, I don't know where she is, but I can tell you that this is a very uh, new bunch of cap brood simply by virtue of the fact that it has been way too long. Oh wow, look at that. Looking for the queen, not seeing her. But here we go. I'm seeing a bit of shotgun pattern, not sure what that's about. Um, but again, look at all that brood. And I do see one queen cell I probably should do something about. I'll go ahead and do that right now just for good measure because I don't want him to get any ideas. I think this queen's not so bad. Just go ahead and pinch that. And then, oh yeah, lots of larvae in those what appear to be shotguns, so that's, that's a good sign. And of course, you see the comb that's being drawn out at the bottom. That's a function of these being medium frames uh, that I put in a deep. Um, really not much I could do about that at the time. Uh, I got another queen cell that I wanna nip in the bud. Excuse me. There we go. I'm gonna scrape that off. Anyway, uh, not seeing the queen. That's good. Of course, uh, sometimes the uh, there's a lot going on over here. Not sure what that's about. Yeah, they're just they're just dealing. With, wow, they're in there. All right. Didn't see the queen. Again, like before, here's the other side. There's one side. Here's the other. I'll go back to the tape later and uh, try to see if I find her. Definitely getting uh, more comfortable in the handling. Um, because as I'm seeing, these bees are extremely relaxed, not quick to anger at all. Uh, which is very nice, um, and so, yeah, I probably don't need it yet, and so I feel more certain these days about uh, quickly getting in and out than I had previously, and push slowly. The propolis between these uh, frames, though, is absolutely off the hook. That is just crazy. Go ahead. Good Lord. Just gonna go ahead and pull that sucker up this way. Get under that over here. There we go. So, excuse me, miss. There we go. Don't have a good grasp. There we go. All right, so here's the next one. Again, looking for the queen. Lots and lots of brood, which uh, is post-nuke uh, transplant, um, almost certainly. Lots of bird comb on this one I'm going to have to get off, too. Uh, looking here, not seeing the queen. Uh, being very careful, of course, to uh, get some separation between the, the frames when I pull them out. Again, look at all that brood. This hive is absolutely about to have a population explosion, which is very nice. Uh, not seeing the queen. Seeing lots and lots of brood. Not seeing the queen. Again, to roll the tape, looking for queen. 
to roll the tape. Look at the queen. All right, I'll go ahead and put y'all back. Take care of that burr comb before I uh, move on. Holy moly. Wow. They seem to be getting just maybe a tad bit annoyed, but I'm sorry, but that is a function of how sticky you make your home. Come on. So let me just do a little puff puff. Come on. There we go. Let's see. We need a little bit of puff to get stuck. There we go. Alright, get some of that bird comb here in a sec. Ladies, I'm not trying to get, come on now. Y'all just won't let go. Oh, sorry. Jesus. All right. Let's do one more here, very slowly. That one's just hovering like, what is your deal? There he goes again. It's interesting kind of watching the bees after you put the burr comb in the, uh, in the bowl here. They'll, they'll kind of stick with it for a minute. And then uh, after a while, they'll kind of go, well, it's not in the hive. Any Excuse me. Miss, I think I'm trying to use this. There we go. And after a while, they'll go, oh, well, it's not in the hive anymore, so I'll just move on. This one, of course, has a lot of strap hangers. Uh, judging by the depth of these cells, there probably wasn't any brood in there, so I'm not really worried about that. Got a little bit on this one. I'm just going to go ahead uh, I'm go ahead and smoke it, just in case the queen's up there. So I didn't see the queen in the hive I'm calling Essex uh, the other day, but then again I didn't pull the frames all the way out, so you know that's a shame on me. But I'm thinking that uh, she's probably judging. Excuse me, ma'am. There you go. Uh, judging by the uh, amount of activity in the way of uh, larvae and eggs and uh, brood, which was capped, of course, also being uh, put there since I brought these over based on the amount of time it takes to make a bee um, that she's doing fine. This one, I think this one uh, has been my underrated player because she has been busy. Lots and lots and lots of activity. All the cells that I've looked at I just pissed one of them off. She was really attached to that piece of comb. I think she'd probably been working on it for the last week. Sorry. One more. Y'all get over it. Come on. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to do right by you here. Trust me. Because at the end of this, you're getting feed, okay? Anyway. Bee feed. They seem to like it. I mean, they put it in their pantry. So. So that's good. I'm getting a heavy amount of bee action on the burr comb. Oh, look! It's Mrs. Skeeter, my esteemed associate in the beekeeping world, wearing her beautiful pink beekeeping outfit. Pardon me, ma'am. There you go. Lots of this. Because this is one of the reasons that uh, these frames were sticking together so much, is all this uh, burr comb between them. And uh, thank you for that. Pardon me, ma'am. See what I mean? They just won't let go. Of course, you know, you'd be a little annoyed too if you just spent the last week working on that piece of uh, comb only to have somebody come along and scrape it off. So, you know, I see where she's coming from. All right, so time to separate these frames. Hopefully we'll see the queen on this next one. Uh, queen wash is still, uh, still on. Oh, uh, that's coming together. That's coming apart much better. Again, I think it probably put a little too much uh, space between some of these combs at the outset, but uh, that was a function of uh, making room for the feeder without getting too uh, tight. So without 
and, and of course the original frames I had being drawn out a great deal. All right, so only onesie twosies on, of the bees are showing their displeasure with me, which is nice. It's not a en masse, holy moly, this is super sticky, not an en masse uh, display of displeasure. So here's one I'm talking about. You see the, you see larva, you can see cat brood, looking for the queen, not seeing her. But uh, this is when, again, we say we roll the tape later on to take a look. But you see on the outside the capped honey or nectar, and then nice uh, little curly white uh, milky looking things on the inside, which are the larvae. And here's the other side. Again, looking for the queen. Still not seeing her, but uh, there's another uh, frame over here, which is a prime, prime suspect for uh, where she might be. All right. But uh, healthy looking frame, looking at lots of larva. Uh, this is the underrated queen. This is the, uh, the sleeper, the late bloomer. The layer, the bill payer. The queen of my heart. Oh yeah. So uh, I was gonna name her Freddie Mercury uh, because uh, she was not uh, reproducing, but uh, I'm thinking that that's probably not fair to her. Um, I mean, she's she's on a level higher than Octomom at this point, so I'm thinking... Uh, Christina. Christina. Who's, Christina Aguilera. Oh, she, how many kids she popped out? Two. That's it's not, it's not a whole heck of a lot. Well, she, in my book, she's just under Beyonce. Oh. For beltability. Oh, beltability? Yeah. Is that a Knight Turner reference? I am so glad I got that on video. <laughs> yeah, it was probably really in bad taste, but uh, good job. But uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think of women in terms of beltability. So <laughs> you can forgive me that. I, I hope. I'm uh, only out here because he told me I had to be. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, um. Oh, that that annoyed her. Please don't annoy the bees. I'm not trying to. Am I allowed to speak? Yeah. Okay. What? See, look at this. They're propagating the, the, the myth that this is a patriarchal household. No, I just, I want whatever this is that you're doing, if you're vlogging, Man, I wouldn't you call don't it, need to talk, if you don't a want a conversation, that's Is it a vlog? I, I don't know. I don't know. It's a YouTube channel. So why is that? A pretty weak one at that, since there's absolutely zero post-production. All right, I'm just asking because I have to. Please don't know them. I, I do you hear that hoot owl? I do hear the hoot owl. Is that hoot owl or a barn owl? I, I didn't know that I think it's you a barn distinguished owl. between the two. I think it's a barn owl. Um, so, look at this guy, or gal, just sitting there. She's like, is this over yet? Are you going to refill this thing? She's just waiting for the part in the show where the feeder gets topped off. See her? She's just sitting there. She's like, dude. That's a barn owl. No, that's a bee. Yes, I, I caught that. All right, so this one is another one that's going to be perhaps a smidge tricky to, to get out. Ladies, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to harsh your buzz. Get it? Um, but you are protected. I wouldn't worry about it. I'm the one that's got the fence going here. Yeah, let me just go ahead and do another little puff puff. So y'all kind of get the message. Now, I will also say that if I'm getting closer and closer to the queen, they may be a little more, and then again, I don't know. They may be a little more apt. Excuse me, I was trying to reach for something. Oh my God. They may be a little more apt to... Um, Is everything you're doing right now absolutely necessary? Yes, okay. because I'm, I'm judging, I'm looking as I do this for indications of uh, parasites or... <laughs> um, holy moly, all right. I want to go to the tongs with this one. I didn't want to, but it's just going to have to happen. It is so sticky. Oh, that cannot be comfortable. Go on. Excuse me. Okay, I'm guessing I have about two minutes left before I freak out. Okay. 
Well, that's good to have that kind of indication. Just remember the way that, oh, there we go. Just remember the way that the um, camera was before you got here. All right, this is another heavy one. Lots of nectar, got some bees hanging on down there. Don't know what's going on. Uh, looking hopefully to see the queen. I'm not seeing her, but uh, hopefully when we go to the tape, we'll see her. I'll check the other side real quick. And, mm, no, man. I can't, I mean, these are definitely not queenless hives, uh, based on, but this is right adjacent to the... They seem overpopulated. Well, that's why I'm giving them a little more space. That's why I mean, I'm giving them more space. Of each other. All right, well, I'm not seeing the queen. Uh, I'm looking at these other frames that I got down here that are of a, uh, that were from the original, actually, I'll go ahead and pull this one out. They were from the original um, installation. It seems like they're being really possessive over whatever that is in the, in the bowl. Uh, we'll take a look. I, the queens can't be there. If she is, I'll put her back. But she's safe if that's where she is. But they're not acting queenless right now. They're rocking out to so Night at the Opera, it looks like. But uh, this one... She may be laying on that. I don't know, but I'm just going to go ahead and dispatch with a little more of this burr comb. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Your your complaints have been noted and forwarded to the management. Uh, I'll just go ahead and get this. Excuse me. Thank you. Yeah, almost done. As soon as I uh, fill out, fill up the um, uh, feeder here, they'll be fine. And they'll get over it. Uh, I don't see, I mean, she may be on there, but I'm going to check it out real quick. Do the same thing with this. Here's what I was talking about before with the bees that see a little bit of honey on there, and they're like, oh, excuse me. Now, this side, obviously, you're not going to see much because they haven't been doing much to draw this one out. However, this side, which is closer to center, plenty of activity, and we'll give it another, hopefully, take a look, see if the queen is in there, but it looks like, holy moly, she's been laying on this, so this, she very well may be here, uh, she'd be in the middle of a cluster of bees, Oop, don't want that to go, uh, look on both sides, I'll, again, I'll go to the tape, hopefully I'll see her, but now it's time to... Button this up. I think I've had a enough uh, intrusion time. Um, excuse me, miss. Really? Do you mind? All right, I'll just have to eat you later. Uh, button this up. I'm just going to do a little bit of checkerboarding. Uh, so this one's going to go on the inside. So in order to kind of make the uh, the less drawn out frames get a little more attention by the the bees, I'm going to just go ahead and pull these fuller frames more to the outside and then interlace the the nuke frames with the um, the nuke frames with the um, foundation frames that they've been drawing out I'm not gonna mess on this side because I definitely want them, since they're going to naturally go that way anyway, because that's where the feeder is, I'm just going to leave those. But on this side, I'm going to give them more reason to fill it out. They're still acting pretty chill. Get a little more burr comb here. Oh, they're not completely... Oh, that's some pretty comb, too. Very fresh, very white ish. It's exactly what you would hope to see in honey color. Um, Alright, switch hive tools while well, that one's encumbered. Excuse me, miss. Pardon. Thank you. And then scrape this one. Alright, now I'll go ahead and go back to closing this baby up. But before I do, just based on the uh, interest that was noted, on this one particular piece. I want to make sure the queen's not in there. I don't think she is, though. 
she wouldn't, she, she's, nah, she wouldn't be. All right, pardon me, these two on here, I'll just go ahead and keep working without them. So, I'm gonna go ahead, in this case, and put the pantry back over here, but the pantry being the one that they made, excuse me, that one landed like it was thinking about trying to sting, and I don't want them to start getting into a stinging mode. Even though we're fine, I don't want them to send out the signal, I'm stinging, if that's even a thing. But, uh, okay. if, are you had, have you had enough? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead and put it back the way it was. I'm going to try. And then uh, you can see on the smokers out, y'all. Panic. No, I'm just kidding. No panic. Good. Go ahead and put this back just a little bit. Excuse me, ma'am. Really? Is that necessary? Okay. Peace out. Peace out. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna go ahead. Put this one frame back in. Hopefully, no, okay. Not gonna hurt anybody. Again, they're not terribly thrilled with me right now, and I understand it. I get it. I get it. I get it. But they'll, it'll, it'll all be forgiven as soon as I put the feeder back in. Or shall I say, refill the feeder. Seeing a bit of activity that uh, they're probably getting a little annoyed right now. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this up. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Propolis on propolis. So be it. All right. That's about as far as that's going to go. Push them over so that I can fit this fat one back in. And put this one over. Holy moly. Hopefully it'll fit. We're about to learn. Absolutely, still fascinated with what's going on in this fur comb. I'm hoping there's no queen action there, but I'm not seeing any. She's not in there, so it's fine. All right, I'll go ahead and put this sucker back in here if I can. Try to make as much space for it as possible. Out of the way. Come on. Do it. That's sticky. Man, I know how they do it. It's just wow. That's a lot of stickiness. <sighs> Worse than my college dorm room. Alright, got that chain. Ladies, you're really going to need to break that up so that I can put your pantry back in. 